Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part three of our series of session on Tally's inventory feature of price level and price list. So in the last video, we saw how we can quickly set up a simple price list for various items for various groups. In this video, we will learn how we can have further configurations done for your price list example that uh, supposing if you have a lot of items and a lot of groups how can you set up price list group wise and also we will learn how you can remove a price level and also we will see how in case we have made a mistake in your price list for an item how you can quickly go and modify that item so let us go to tally and explore the other configurations that you can leverage with regards to price list and price level in the last video we saw how we can attach a price level for a particular customer as a wholesaler or as a retailer now what happens in case if you are billing to some other customer who is not a wholesaler or a distributor and at times you want to give the benefit of any of the price list to those customers so in that case how do we handle it let us go to the sales invoice and try what happens so i'm selecting a customer for whom we have not attached any price list example classic products and now once you select the part Party, you will observe that this particular party you have not linked any price level for this party and in the price level you will notice that the price levels are getting listed here and now you have an option just in case you want to offer any of the price level to this customer or if you don't want to offer any price level all you need to do is just say not applicable and then start raising the invoice and once you start raising the invoice you will observe that the price list rate will not get captured and the cursor will go to the rate column for you to capture the desired rate so let us see how it happens let us take the item for which we had specified the price list for wholesale or retail so let's select blue star air conditioner if you observe down you will see the price list that we had specified for each of the level i'll enter the quantity as one enter and here by default it will take the previous price that we had captured that is if you notice that for the retail we had specified 25,000 so that is where the rate gets captured and you will also observe that the cursor is now in the rate column where you can go and modify the rate this way you can do the billing for any party without impacting the price level for that particular party and just in case let's assume that you want to provide for some reason the price level of wholesale for this party for one time so then what we have to do is just go back and select wholesale you have the option to select any price level here select wholesale sales enter and immediately you will observe that the rate is automatically changed to 20,000 at the bottom you will see what is the rate that we have specified for the wholesale price level and when you press enter you will observe that the cursor is jumped to the amount column it is not allowing you to change the rate since it is picking up from the price list of the wholesale now let us take another use case let's say for some reason you don't want to provide the benefit of price level for customer to whom you have attached the price level how do we handle that situation let's say you are billing to your retailer Kamal agencies if you remember Kamal agencies is a retailer so when you select Kamal agencies and now you will observe that the cursor is not going to the price level since we have attached the price level to this particular customer now this use case like I had mentioned you don't want to provide the retail price list you want to specify your own rate for this particular invoice so how do we handle that since now tally is not allowing you to change here you have a configuration where you can say to modify the master information during the voucher entry so how do we do that remember your secret number two press f12 configure make sure that show more configuration and show all configuration is yes when you come down here you have this option called modify all fields during the voucher entry this option by default will be no it also says that this is going to be applicable to 
non taxable field so taxable field it is not going to be applicable so come here and set this as yes enter save this by pressing control a and now when you press backspace you will observe that tally is allowing you to change the price level or if you want to set it as not applicable you can also set it up so let me just go back and come and then show you how tally will now take this field and open this price level come back freshly and select common agencies and you will observe that now the cursor is gone to the price level here is where you are going to decide whether you want to retain the price level of retail for this customer in this bill or if you don't want to allow the rate specified in the retail price list then you can set it as not applicable and start billing where the cursor will go to the rate column and you can go and modify the rate accordingly let us take another use case let us say now you have added more item and now you want to append or add these additional items in your existing price level of wholesale and retail so how do we do that observe the price list at the bottom here these are the additional items for which we want to append the price list for wholesale and retail now i have selected one item from different group so that we will also see that how we can add or append the existing price list or when you are creating the new price list how you can set the price list for each of the group that is what we will witness now so let us go to the price list alteration screen how do we do click on alter and then select price list stock group press enter and now instead of selecting all item let us select group wise and add the price list for that level let us select microwave group i am going to select microwave group enter and we want to append wholesale select wholesale and important thing applicable from keep this as the original applicable date press enter and now we are seeing the new screen so here just observe the price list at the bottom the price list for wholesale for lg microwave which is part of the microwave group is 12000 rupees so what we do we select lg microwave 32 liters and come to the rate here and you don't have to worry what is the rate that you have to decide you will also observe that the cost price of the item is displayed here so it helps you to decide on the margin or percentage that you want to add for the wholesale price list so if you observe at the bottom the rate for lg microwave is 12000 just enter 12000 and now we are going to that's the only item that we want to add here except the screen now the next group that we are going to select is the monitor group enter again wholesale same date observe the price list at the bottom acer monitor for wholesale is 9000 rupees so i'm going to select acer monitor rate is 9000 and accept the next item we are going to select computer accessories and in this we are going to select the first item logitech wireless keyboard the rate is 2500 now you can just press ctrl a you don't have to press keep entering and the last one is we are going to select computers group wholesale same date and here we are going to select asus vivo book 15 laptop the rate is going to be 40000 for the wholesaler save it so this way you can go and append the price list for the retailer for the same item. now we have to see whether the addition that we have made for the other group has it got added to the existing wholesale price list so come here and select wholesale now you have to select all item just select all item select wholesale press enter and you will observe that the addition or the new item that we have added in the existing wholesale price level is got added or appended to it so you will see that acer monitor then lg microwave has come logitech wireless keyboard all this item has got updated in the thing so this way you can go and append or add additional item in your existing price level where you can select a particular group and provide the respective rate for the level let us take the next use case scenario the next use case scenario is let's say while capturing the rate for respective price level you would have made a mistake in entering the rate and you have 
already saved that particular price list and while billing you notice that there is a mistake in the rate that you have specified in the price list of any level so now how do we go and modify the rate so let's see how we can go and modify the rate so all you have to do is again come back to alter select price list stock group enter and select the respective level for which you want to modify the rate wholesale and let's say acer monitor 27 inches actually it should have been 10000 but by mistake you have entered 9000 so come here all you have to do is just change the rate enter and then save it once you save the modified rate will be saved or captured so just to cross check whether the rate has got updated again you can go into this and you will see that the rate has got appended here let's take the next use case now let's say for some reason you want to delete the price level you don't want price levels so how do we go and delete the price level so let's see how we can delete the price level under the master section select alter and then just come to the price level enter and we are seeing the two price levels here and let's say you want to remove the retail price level so all you have to do is just press spacebar make it blank and accept it and once you come back you will see that the wholesale price level is there and retail price level is gone again when you come back to priceless stock group and when you come here you will see that only one price level is getting listed here and the retail price level is deleted. Now, important thing that you have to remember, even though you have deleted the price level, sometimes maybe by mistake, somebody would have deleted the price level. Now, what happens to the price list that you have set for the price level? You can go and recall the price level. Important thing is that whatever is the name that you have provided, go and specify the exact name and you will get your price list back for that particular level so how do we do that come back to alter select price level and now you just say retail the spelling should be exactly as per your previous level that you have created enter accept and now let us go to price list stock group item select retail applicable and you will see that all the items with your historical price list is retained so which means literally you can't delete a price list you can delete a price level i hope this video would have given you a clear understanding of how you can manage various configurations. We also learned how you can remove a price level and how you can modify the rate of any item in the price list in case you have made a mistake. In the upcoming session, we will have an advanced price level of additional configurations that you can do for the price list where it could be required for your business. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.